For today's video, we will be talking about crown ethers. In this case, we have x equals the number of atoms and y equals the numbers of oxygens. For this, x, crown, y will be the way to name crown ethers. Now, let's start off with an example. If we had this structure right here, we count the x's, which means everything, all the sides. So we start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 x's, now y is 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 4 oxygens. So we have 12 crown 4, and this is how we name them. Now let's do another example. So that's the structure. So x, you count all the sides, and y, you only count the oxygens in this case. So let's start off canon. We would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Again, 12 x. Okay, now let's count the oxygen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, ox eight oxygen. So 12 crown 8 would be the name for this ether. Now let's do a structure like this. So we have bromine, and this reacts with KF benzene, and also let's say 20 crown 8. So in this case, we'll get a product of fluorine. Now, Let's draw the mechanism for this. We draw the structure of bromine on this. It reacts with fluorine, has a negative charge. The electrons go to the carbon, kick off the bromine. Let's draw the structure of the potassium and the crown ether with the positive charge. We have eight oxygen in this case. And we just draw this. Okay, and this reacts and makes our final product of fluorine and with a byproduct of bromine, negative charge.